Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about iron deficiency anemia. Last week we spoke about all the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, but today we're gonna to talk about lab markers. How do we distinguish someone who has iron deficiency anemia versus, let's say, a megaloblastic anemia? But today our focus is going to be lab markers for iron deficiency. So let's get right into it. So the first marker we look at is red blood cell. Next one is hemoglobin, hematocrit, MCH, MCV, MCHC, and RDW. So what does this all mean, right? So when we look at this, we have red blood cells, and red blood cells have a concentration of hemoglobin in them, right? So hemoglobin is, is the hemoglobin in the whole blood. And then you have hematocrit, which is a fraction of blood volume uh, that's intact in red blood cells. MCH, or mean corpuscular hemoglobin, is the average number of hemoglobin in a single red blood cell. So there's many uh, hemoglobin in the red blood cell, okay? MCV is mean corpuscular volume. Mean corpuscular volume means the size of the red blood cell. And what that indicates is when it's very small, it's iron deficiency. If it's very large, it's a B12 or B9 anemia, right? So mean corpuscular volume in size means different things. MCHC is mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, and that is the average volume with red blood cells. And then RDW red cell distribution width, and that's the abnormal uh, variation in size of the red blood cell. So the width is basically from small to large. The wider it is, there's an indication that there are a lot of immature red blood cells, immature red blood cells, so the width of the red blood cells, or the, uh, or the variety of red blood cells is very large, okay? So when we look at these numbers here, the numbers in red, are indicative of uh, lab ranges. So if you're outside of the lab ranges, it's considered quote-unquote pathology, it's abnormal, right? So anything out of these red uh, areas is a clinical concern. The ones in the brown over here, this is indication of a male and that's a female, and the ranges are different from men to women. So when we look at red blood cell, Men is 4.2 to 4.9, and female is 3.9 to 4.5. So the brown indicates ranges for optimal levels. So you can pick up subtle iron deficiency earlier on when you look at the functional ranges in brown versus the red ranges in the lab. So it's a good way of uh, distinguishing or teasing out early iron deficiency uh, when we look at the brown markers, okay? So iron deficiency anemia and lab testing. So these are just a lot of names, right? But at the end of the day, what does it all mean and how do we put it together, right? So when we look at iron deficiency, we just looked at what we call the CBC, right? Uh, a complete blood count. We looked at all the different red blood cell markers, MCV, and all those things that are related to red blood cells. There are other markers called um, iron markers. So we also have to look at do we have enough iron, serum iron, and then this ferritin, percentage saturation, total iron binding capacity, transferrin. These are all different iron markers and there's also a, um, a percentage transferrin saturation number too. But when you look at this, same thing, we're looking at lab ranges and then we're looking at functional ranges and they can be a little bit different from men to women. So when we look at serum iron, it's the circulating iron bound to transferrin. Ferritin is the storage iron, right? When the ferritin is very low, it indicates iron deficiency. If it's high, it can indicate an acute phase reactant meaning there's inflammatory processes that uh, are going on and the uh, ferritin number can go high, right? And then uh, total iron binding capacity is the amount of transferrin, right? The, the one that binds to the iron itself. 
Um, transferrin in itself is the primary extracellular protein that transports iron and is produced through the liver, right? That's an important fact because liver function is very important to actually iron levels. So when we look at iron deficiency, the te technical term is called microcytic hypochromic anemia, right? Big words, basically iron deficiency anemia. So what do we see? We just mentioned a bunch of different lab tests. And what do we see when we have iron deficiency anemia, right? So you can have a low serum iron. You can have low percentage saturation. You can have an increase in total iron binding capacity because basically your body is trying to bind more iron so the uh, binding capacity goes up. When we have iron binding capacity that's elevated, we start to think about mm, maybe there could be a GI bleed or issues with uh, iron uh, loss. So we can look at reticulocyte count. And what we can do is um, when reticulocyte count goes up, we're looking at maybe a bleed somewhere, right? A GI bleed or something else. So the reticulocyte count is basically immature red blood cells. Uh, so the numbers keep going up, your body keeps producing more reticulocytes. Ferritin will also be low. Red blood cell will be low. Hemoglobin will be low. Hematic crit, MCV or mean corpuscular volume will be low. MCH will be low. MCHC will be low. Increase in red cell distribution width and an increase in transferrin and a decrease in transferrin saturation. So these are a lot of different numbers, right? So in my next video, what we're going to do is try to break it down and to see what is early signs of iron deficiency, moderate signs of iron deficiency, and severe loss, right? Basically, if you have everything here, it's pretty advanced uh, iron loss, right? So iron deficiency anemia. So we're going to discuss that in our next video. And then after that, we're going to discuss um, how do we improve iron absorption? What can we do? What can we take? or supplement wise uh, to enhance our iron absorption and improve iron, our iron levels, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.